YouTube, I decided I was going to make this video about three different main topics. One of them being rice baby cereal. This stuff. Another one being um, baby food. And then another one being kid leashes, child harnesses, whatever you want to call them. It just basically looks like this. And it's got a little harness thing in the front. Um, it's really dirty and needs to be washed. So I'm going to start off with the baby food. Um, and people always ask me why I don't do baby led weaning, and this is kind of more of a little bit of my opinion slash my own research. This is organic Meyer brand baby food. No, it's not. It's the natural version. Okay. Anyway, this is the pear stuff, and they, I read everywhere about how this is filled with additives Horrible for your kid. Um, I'm just going to leave in here that this is not true. You can go to your local grocery store. Um, and the ingredients list is pears, comma, water, comma, and lemon juice. When you jar something like this at your own home, if I were to jar this myself, I would need pears, water, and lemon juice to jar this on my own. Really not that unnatural of a process. You put it in a steamer, lid pops down, boom, you got baby food. That's all that is. Leah, let the kitty go! Let the kitty go. Yes, yes, that is a can of Mountain Dew. No, I don't let my kids drink it. Anyway. um, I was reading somewhere about how... The baby foods that are on the market are bad for children. I, I literally read this article that says, don't give your child squash and sweet potatoes and things like that as a first food because they're high in starch. Yet, when I was reading good recipes by the same person, how to make good baby food, squash and sweet potatoes were at the top of the list. Leah, let the kitty go on how to make this baby food. So a lot of the people that write these articles against baby food because they want to be more natural are very hypocrite, or they're hypocrites, essentially. And the next one is the baby cereal. I'm not going to lie, you should not give your four-month-old baby cereal, and here's why. Your body needs to produce something called amylase, I believe, I think that's how you pronounce it, to, in order to split starches, which is essentially what baby cereal is. There is absolutely no am like a pretzel from Oliver, so anyway, what I was saying is is that your body needs to produce amylase in order to break down the starches in this baby cereal, which there is none until six months. Um so yeah. You should not give your baby anything, really, until they're six months old. Anything other than breast milk or formula. But at six months, they start producing a small amount of amylase. Not really enough that I would recommend giving baby cereal as a mother, but I wouldn't necessarily judge a mom who did. Or say something. But, um, with this stuff, um... In other cultures, the ones that do give their babies any type of cereal, they give them like a type of gruel, which is a broken down, basically soaked or chewed by the mother version of that grain. What do you think they do to this to make it so your baby can eat it? Think about it. It's probably a lot like that gruel. And, um... Why do you think it's a powder and not an actual oat form? And as far as the rice baby cereal has arsenic in it, which I personally do not buy rice cereal as of right now. I may because um, research. my research actually shows that a small amount of arsenic is good for you. That's just so everybody knows there's arsenic in apples. But everybody's gung-ho for giving their baby apples. All I'm saying in this is that you can't believe every single thing that you read, and you should probably try and read the other side of it, as in, look up why is rice cereal good for your baby, 
and read some articles on that and come to a decision on your own. Not everything that the natural group says is necessarily correct. Not saying that everything they say is necessarily wrong. I just think that a lot of the parenting styles come and go as fads. So what is popular now isn't going to be popular in two years. And that's why I'm just, that's, that's essentially why I made this video. It's not to bash anybody or anything like that. It's just to kind of prove a point that rice cereal isn't horrible for your child. I use the oatmeal cereal because I think it's better. I personally use the banana oatmeal most of the time simply because banana helps your body produce amylase, which helps split starches. So kind of putting them together seems to make the most sense. Um, anyway, I hope you found this video enjoyable, and if you have any of your own research to share with me, I would love to read it, so please leave that in the comments section down below, and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.